Today, we're going to talk about the differences between sprints, phases, milestones. And that's not all. We're also going to take a look at the concept of tasks. When we get done with this, we'll go a step further and talk about the differences between epics, features, stories, and of course, we'll bundle that back up to the topic of tasks, and perhaps along the way, throw in a few more things. So we've got roughly seven topics to address in the next 10 minutes or less. Let's jump straight into talking about the way Agile works. In the world of Agile, we work in a different way from predictive. We work in what we call iterations. And these iterations are time boxes in which we fit scope that we can into. The time box is fixed. The scope is flexible. The cost that surrounds this time box is also fixed, but the scope is flexible. So we use the term iterations, but in the world of Scrum specifically, Iteration is called sprint. And therefore, you hear the term sprint being used in a lot of commingling of agile frameworks and methodologies. So, what exactly is a sprint and how is a sprint different from a phase? Well, like I said, a sprint is a time box of work. In the sprint, we seek to accomplish what we need to do to derive a potentially shippable increment all at once. So in a sprint, we could find some analysis being done, some design, development, testing, and implementing if we decide to release. So the implementation could be looked at as something that happens when we have a potentially shippable increment that we will indeed ship. So just think about it in this high level way. In a sprint, we get everything done, all the different pieces to get that increment out of the door. We're doing everything. Now, conversely, in the world of phases in a project, we would break down analysis into phase one, design into phase two, development into phase three, for example, testing into phase four, and we could say implement is phase five. That's how it works in the world of traditional project management. So take a look at these two together. What do you notice? Everything is done in a sprint, but in the world of project management, traditionally, we break things down into phases and everything is done in the project. Everything is not done in the phase. It is done in the project. So sprints have often been described as mini projects. So just think about it differently. We're doing same work, just in a different way. Instead of getting a final result at the end, as it happens in traditional, in the world of Agile, we get an incremental result. So we're adding what we get from sprint one to sprint two. We're adding all those increments and eventually we get to whatever that end result is. So that's the difference between sprints and phases. Now let's move on to talk about other terms 
take a look at phase five. Phase five is broken down into work packages. These work packages contain tasks, which is the actual work being done. And these tasks, when accomplished, when successful, they give us an end result, which is the work package. That signifies accomplishment. And that accomplishment is marked by a zero day event known as a milestone. A milestone is a zero day event. It's not a task. A task has hours in it, right? So one hour, two hours, and so on. That's a task. A milestone is zero days. That's the difference between your phase, the high level chunk of work you're trying to do, work packages, which break down a WBS into the lowest level. And the work package usually signifies a sub deliverable or some deliverable needed on the project. And the milestone is just a label we put on to say this has been accomplished. Moving on. Another topic that I often get questions on is what is a product, epic, feature, story, task? Well, product, of course, is that deliverable. It could be a product. It could also be a service or some other sort of result. So don't be uh, swayed by the word product. Just substitute product with your unique circumstance. If it's a service, if it's some other sort of deliverable, maybe a result, maybe it's an experiment, whatever it is, just replace that. Now, what is an epic? An epic is a huge chunk of functionality. A feature is a collection of similar related stories that will be released together. So you could look at a feature as being a parent level and the stories under it being of a task level. I'll talk about that later on, I should say child level. So this is more like a parent and this is more like the child, right? And you could use that same analogy for stories which are customer or user-centered request. I don't like calling stories requirements because the word requirement often connotes a mandatory delivery, it must be done. Stories, on the other hand, have a conversation, a negotiation associated with them. Tasks are the child of the story, if you will. But in the world of Agile, a lot of folks don't do tasks because the idea is if it can fit within a sprint, why waste time breaking it down, breaking it down into hours and hours and hours? So now you've got an idea of how this works in the world of products, epics, features, stories. And now you can see where tasks lie in this world of agile versus in this world of predictive. Moving along, finally, here's an example of features, the higher level, crazy on LMS homepage. And under that we have stories, these are related under the feature level, we will release these together. So you could say the feature is a group of user stories packaged for release. Now I know in the Agile community, there's a lot of confusion and also a lot of customization, depending on how you use this stuff in your company, you might call one of these feature, a feature something else, you may call Epic something else, it doesn't change it, right? You will also see the concept of releases being built in. So just remember, these features are, of course, ultimately going to add up to a release somewhere, but I don't show that on this screen. All right. And there you have it. I hope this helped you better understand the concept of sprints, phases, milestones, tasks, epics, features, stories, and of course, what packages that we looked at. You take care and all the very best. Remember, if you're looking for training, coaching, mentoring in project management or agile, go on down to the website. It's praision, P-R-A-I-Z-I-O-N.com. 
Coming up very soon, we have a seminar on scaling, common sense scaling. So if you want to be part of that, keep looking on the praiseion.com site. It's going to be taking place around the middle of August. So keep your eyes glued to the website. Take care and talk to you soon. Bye for now.